quickly, go! 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 Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hypercraft Season 5 with me, Fault Symmetry, and today we're over here on top of our base yet again because I want to show you something guys, we have been busy doing a bit of digging and look at this place, it is being dug out quite a lot. The sides are a lot further down than the middle. The middle is just something that I want to get done in a live stream without having to worry about hitting the sides and breaking it up. My volume does seem to be off though in game. No, I just haven't got my earphones in. What a derp to start off the episode. That is not a good sign. But anyway, today is going to be a Q&A special. Leave a like if you do enjoy it. Let me know if you want to see a second part of this and leave any questions I haven't had down below. Look how many mushrooms we have right now. A whole bunch. This is kind of ridiculous, but at least I guess I have a uh, good food source. So the questions were from a video uh, a week or two ago, I think. It's been a little while, I think, actually. Uh, and I did mean to do it earlier, but then so many things came up and I thought now was the perfect time to do a QA. and a Now, one of the questions actually is, relates to my base, which is why I'm in the air flying around so I can sort of point you guys towards what I'm talking about. So the question is, what is your base plan? Now, I can't really read most of the names, so I'm actually you're just gonna put them up on the screen uh, and I thought I would explain a little bit from the sky what my base plan is so without trying to uh, nosedive the area obviously this area over here this whole section where I'm kind of using moving the cursor this whole section is gonna be one district now that's the district I'm working on currently is going to be a sort of just town district it's gonna be kind of a village kind of just with all the amenities, so it's got like a fishing hut and a small dock. It's going to be just a general village, you know, fairly... just kind of not very poor people, not very rich people, just just general, just normal village, just nothing special, nothing crazy, but also uh, everyone sort of has a fair amount of housing, all the housing is going to be similar in size, etc, etc, and style, and that's what that district there is going to be. I'm planning the district over in that side, which is the one that has the swamp out the back of it, but I have removed all the land from. Uh, the land obviously being removed leaves this kind of really, really cool uh, floor kind of idea, like this flat land of dirty swamp water, and I think that means that this area over here will be more of a kind of a slums kind of deal, uh, it's going to be a lot less green than this area over here and things like that. And to like separate these areas there'll be kind of forests and things like that and mushroom forests perhaps as well. This area over here, which is that as well, that, that area over there and this area too, uh, I think it's going to be kind of a more regal, a little bit more royalty perhaps, so it's just some kind of more uh, a richer area I guess. So to, uh, to kind of completely be the opposite of that area we're going to have this area over here. Uh, I'm actually planning on having like a dock here in between the areas which uh, might be interesting because this area here which is where Zuma's base connects to I'm thinking shops and it's been kind of a commercially sort of district shops and and work areas and things like that over and then uh, yeah and then that's the, the slum area I've just mentioned so that is sort of the idea thinking maybe a shipyard might go in here like a big ship I really really want to build one there so hopefully in the coming episodes we'll do that just so that we get a little bit more of some things to look at around the base because currently this area over here looks great I love it it's fantastic I love flying over it but it is only one very very small area now the center area as you guys may have heard in a live stream I sort of spoke about it as a bit of a utopia because I want this area to feel a little empty I don't necessarily want the outside area to feel full of people I want there to be some sort of reason that they have perhaps moved into here. Now that, I realise that that is a massive project that in here is huge and crazy and ridiculous but uh, and there's a long way to go with it but I don't know I think that that in my head is the best idea I have so if it, you want to let me know of any other little ideas to do with that let me know. Uh, you can point out different times and tell me where different things should go and stuff but yeah this is the main area I'm working on at the moment so ideas for this town let me know and um yeah, we're kind of uh, working on the base plans still now, but it should be pretty cool. But anyway, let's get on with something else and answer a few different questions. So speaking of digging, we're actually going to do a little bit during this Q&A because it's a nice easy thing to get done and also it's so satisfying. Like, look at this. 
I could just get rid of layers so easily and now I don't have to like be very very careful around this edge I can just go absolutely ham so it's super satisfying I need some more coal as well so I'm collecting that while I'm here and now let's go on to the next question. So the next question is from Chimmy, who asked, what did you do before you became a YouTuber and why did you choose to do Minecraft as a YouTuber? So that's actually a very good question because I actually, and this is something that I mentioned occasionally in live streams, but actually I didn't plan on actually doing Minecraft on YouTube straight away. Like my plan was to do YouTube. Like I wanted to do YouTube as a hobby. Like I just, I loved YouTube. I, I watched it all the time, I watched so many different types of videos, like I watched like arty videos, I watched uh, vlogs at the time, I watched other gaming content, a lot of uh, cool juicy commentaries, and I just generally wanted to do it, like I didn't have a plan, and this was before I knew about Minecraft, I actually didn't like start off with Minecraft in mind, uh, hence the channel name, like the channel name has nothing to do with Minecraft, it has nothing to do with uh, me necessarily, like it is just a name that I was like, you know what, that's a great name for YouTube, I'm gonna go with that, um, that works for me, because my original plan was to do kind of arty farty videos, as I call them, um, because that is what I was really, really into at the time. But before YouTube, I was doing, um, design stuff, I was sort of actually doing a lot of Minecraft artwork, for those that remember my se old second channel that I don't use anymore, called True Symmetry. Uh, there are still a few speed arts on there currently, I probably at some point will remove them all from that, because they don't really do anything for me anymore, like, they weren't necessarily very good, but it was something I was working on, something I was very, very much enjoying, and something that was kind of a... A sort of a small business in a way, I was taking commissions for that and I was doing lots of channel art and stuff for people which uh, I don't know if anyone's actually still using it, for a long while people were using it but I think recently when I have checked on channels that have used my artwork in the past they are using something different now which is not surprising because that is like three plus years ago not what I can speak because my channel art has only recently changed and uh, actually I need to change my banner as well, I just haven't got around to doing that so uh, yeah, but you guys have been digging the new profile picture, so I'm super, super happy with that. So yes, uh, right directly before YouTube I was doing an internship in graphic design. Uh, as you guys know, I have a degree in graphic design, that's what I was doing like a bit before YouTube. And yeah, just generally I have a design background, so that is basically what I was doing, which I guess sort of rubs off in, my, in Minecraft a little bit, but as I say, YouTube was a hobby for me and just very luckily it became my job, so I'm pretty uh, lucky to, to be able to say that, because not everybody uh, gets the opportunity, sadly. But yeah, uh, very, very lucky, and yeah, I think that, that basically answers that question. A question that is sort of similar, that sort of works very well with that previous one, is um, if you can do YouTube slash Twitch full time, because I obviously do both for those that don't know. I do both because YouTube isn't, well, I do both because I enjoy both, but at the same time YouTube, it doesn't work for me as, as a job on its own, neither does Twitch. Together they work well and obviously you guys support me a lot on things like Patreon and things like that as well which has been incredible recently. That and Twitch subscribers as well, we are we are way above anything I ever thought we could reach on there so all of that has made it so I can very much be able to actually do this full time because otherwise it would not be uh, that f feasible really. Um, but if I wasn't doing it and could do it, I, I guess I would go back to design, I'd go back to what I, I know. Um, I'm still very much into graphic design, not that I get a lot of opportunity to like do it or whatever, I guess in a way sort of doing little bits here and there for thumbnails and things like that. I guess in a way is keeping it fresh, at least I still know how to use Photoshop and things like that. But as for things like Illustrator and stuff, like the programs you would use as a graphic designer, I haven't used them necessarily for a, for a, for a whole bunch, but I think it's one of those things where I could get back into it pretty easily if, if, I, if I needed to, so it's not something I'm too worried about, and obviously I've got the degree, so that is sort of a, hey, here, I've got this degree, and I've also got sort of, I guess, experience in thumbnails and things like that. Not a very graphic design uh, friendly, necessarily, but hey, uh, it's something, and... Yeah, that is, I guess, what I'd be doing otherwise. One more question while we're doing a bit of digging. I want to get rid of this this actual half here. It actually takes a long while. I feel like I get rid of, like, one pickaxe from doing two levels of this. But yeah, this is the last bit of uh, digging we're going to do. Then we'll go do something else for a bit. 
Um, so this question comes from Summer who said, where do I get my inspiration from? It amazes me that you can constantly come up with new and great ideas. Uh, loving the terrain and tower, thank you very much. Um, yeah, so inspiration's this weird thing in Minecraft where a lot of people ask me where I get my inspiration from because obviously, yes, as a YouTuber and as someone that puts out, I think, three Hermitcraft videos a week and also live streams a whole bunch, uh, and obviously does things like Fullcraft as well, and generally in all of the series I do, I do some sort of building or something that requires, you know, ideas and, you know, design ideas, basically. Uh, inspiration can come from pretty much anywhere. I think you have to keep an open mind with things like that, with inspiration. I need to collect this. I'm collecting this, by the way, this diorite, because uh, I know someone that wants it. I know that Iskull really desperately wants all of this diorite for his uh, uh, collection in, in trade for gunpowder, so I'm, I'm, I'm making sure I'm picking it all up. Don't worry, guys. I'm not digging this for absolutely nothing. We're getting gunpowder back from doing this place and digging it up. So yeah, sometimes inspiration can come from real life, like real life buildings, real life, uh, just things you see, just any anything, like... I guess having a background in design and uh, and especially doing education in design and, and, and art, you you learn a certain way to kind of find inspiration and you, you become very kind of good at looking up certain things. So if there's something I need, I will look it up and I'll get inspiration from it. Uh, so sometimes it can be from other Minecraft builds, sometimes it can be from real life, sometimes it can just be something that comes up in my head. Sometimes I'll just be looking at the terrain and I'll come up with an idea with it. So that tower up there pretty much just, I think, was something in my head that I was just like, you know what, that is the perfect place for a tower, it needs to be right on the edge of the island, that's where I'll start and then I'll kind of move my way into the island and then back out the other end and kind of doing the districts like that. Or at least that's my plan, I might end up kind of dotting myself around, but I really really want to, like, I don't know, it's a bit daunting having this massive project, so inspiration is going to be a key thing, I think, for this project. Uh, the thing I'm currently struggling with, though, inspiration-wise, which you guys can possibly help with, is houses. Now, the area up there next to that tower is where I want to start building some houses, so I don't really want to go, like, eh, like completely, like, traditionally medieval, like the medieval houses you see in Minecraft, the ones with the kind of the black kind of X, like the, uh, like Tudor sort of houses. I don't necessarily want know if I want to go directly with those, and I want to obviously use the water mill in some way in the design. So if anyone has any screenshots, at Full Symmetry on Twitter would be great. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely interested in hearing from you guys, because as I say, there are things, in fact, actually, there's something we're going to do in the rest of the episode after the questions that you guys have directly inspired me to do. Um, well, I guess you've basically given me exactly what I'm going to be building, so we're going to be building that in a moment. Uh, I'm very much excited to do that, but anyway, let me get rid of this little chunk here, and we will get on with that task, and we'll probably answer another couple of questions as well. There are a couple, couple of smaller questions that take a little less explaining, but hopefully I've done okay at explaining uh, my answers to some of the questions. It's sometimes a little bit difficult to put things into... Um, into words, especially things like inspiration, where they can come from literally anywhere and everywhere. So yeah, let me put these in the chest, and then we'll go get on with some build stuff. Okay, so I've just come in here and there's a there's a chest? Free prismarine stuff's courtesy of Impulse. <gasps> Impulse! Do it, wait, okay. I, d I don't understand this, okay? This freaks me out, because usually on the server, we have things like shops and stuff like that, where um, I guess you pay for something? I've not given Impulse anything this season yet, at least not that I remember. So that confuses me. I feel like he's gonna be like, one day be like, Hey false, you know that prismarine I gave you? Now can you like, you know, I don't know, he's gonna like own my soul or something. I don't know, <laughs> something weird's gonna go on at some point, I'm sure. But oh my goodness. Free prismarine, I will take it, Impulse. I'm not complaining at all. I desperately, desperately will need to keep getting some prismarine. Well, mostly mostly sea lanterns at the moment, although I seem to be good with those at the moment. Actually, we're, we're pretty good. It might be some more dark prismarine for some roofs, which that, that that's, I guess, the confusing thing about my builds at the moment. I don't know how to add prismarine to roofs of houses without them looking weird, but maybe I'll, I'll go more subtle and we'll go with some spruce wood instead. But anyway, let me gather my materials and then we're going to be working over there in that corner. Yeah, we're going to be building something very cool. Guys, we're going to make something I've never, ever made before. I thought I'd get it on camera. <gasps> I don't think I've made one of these before. What on earth? 
Oh, it's so weird. It's look at his face. Oh, I need to make a little friend. Has anyone got a screenshot of a little friend I can make with that face? Because look how adorable he is. He's so adorable. I wish I could, like, just put him up on the wall. And just, like, have him just be there. Just... I don't know, it's creepy, isn't it, I guess. Anyway, we need one of them for what we're building. Uh, we also need packed ice, so that actually requires me to go to Cub Fan's area. That's a long, long way in the nether, so let me actually uh, leave my stuff here. I'll meet you guys over there, and when we're over there, we'll do another couple of questions. <laughs> I can't hear these guys are just, like, lined up. No, get back in line! Stop it! Stop it! St get! Mrs. Wilson, behave! You guys are like, like a little boy band or something. <laughs> That's adorable. That's adorable. Also, while we're in the nether, um, look, I've added portals. We need to add one more over there, because that one's going to be removed at some point, and we'll have one there instead. And then we'll have like an, an X, X uh, shape, uh, northeast, southwest sort of portals, which would be really cool. But look at it. This is going to be my nether hub. It's quite big, isn't it? But I so cool, I like it. It's gonna be so great. Although the only problem is the zoomers is like pretty much right above that portal because that that portal and his island are very very close to each other. So it might be a bit tricky, but at some point I can always remove that one. Maybe we don't need that one. I don't know, but uh, it shouldn't be too much of an issue because he's up in the sky somewhere. So hopefully he's not too close. But anyway, let's go and see if we can find Cub Fan's portal. It's up the stairs somewhere. So we are well on our way to Cub Fans. I think this portal on the left here that you can sort of see when I go down on my my Leechra. Why did I wear my Leechra? That was a bad idea, wasn't it? This is a long way to come if I lose it. Ice plane spike biome. This is perfect. I'm hoping it's daytime when I go through. But anyway, question from James. Have you ever played Pocket Edition and would you consider playing it? I have a little bit on my phone. Like a very, very small amount. Didn't really like it that much, phone's too small. I don't have uh, like a, a tablet that can run um, Minecraft Pocket Edition, so I've never played it on a tablet. I've seen it on a tablet. I've had someone show me their worlds on a tablet before, uh, which is cool, but um, it isn't something that I have played myself. And I, I don't know, I guess like, because I'm not used to console and using a controller, it the, the, like the controls are a little bit kind of foreign to me. Uh, and a little bit more difficult to actually, um, yeah, use. Um, as for what I consider playing it, I'm actually planning, I'm going to tell you guys some future plans for the channel. Um, there is a thing coming out, uh, as you guys probably will have heard of, uh, the Minecraft Marketplace uh, for um, Pocket Edition. And so that basically means Pocket Edition It includes Windows 10 Edition, which is the one that I have that... I would play because it still uses the mouse and keyboard, which is great, but it is actually still Pocket Edition, so it doesn't really matter if I'm using a computer for it. Uh, it's all very much the same thing. And uh, I got a very, uh, very nice sneak peek, actually. Uh, I was invited up to London a few weeks ago, a month ago, I'm not even sure when it was, to uh, the Microsoft offices, and I basically got to see the Minecraft Marketplace before it was uh, kind of made public. And I also got to check out some of the maps and some of the other things that are released. I'm sure you, you can go through my Twitter and at some point you would have seen where, where it was. I could have tweeted it out. Um, but yeah, I was very, very excited to hear about Anasia. She, um, she's part of Good Over Gaming. She's got a texture pack out on there. Um, or she will be, because I don't think it's actually... You, you can't buy them yet. Um, there are some really, really cool maps by Blockworks and other people. The Nox Crew have a map as well. There's a baby zombie I can hear and no one's sleeping. This is kind of terrifying, I'll be honest, but we'll, we'll carry on with the questions. We'll pretend nothing bad is happening. Nothing bad at all. And, um, yeah, one of the maps by Blockworks in particular, I really, really want to play. I got to play a little bit of it, actually. Um, he gave me his laptop and he was like, yeah, you can have a little go at it. So I, I did. I had a little go at it. Didn't quite know what I was doing, but... It was, it, it's a very, very cool concept. Very, very cool concept is all I'm going to say. And I, uh, yeah, I would love to play that because, as you know, I haven't done Minecraft Map Mondays for a long while. And uh, I do really, really like maps, but it's kind of a more a long-running series than a, than a Minecraft map as such. So hopefully if it works like that, and that is how the game, you know, plays, then that will hopefully be a new kind of series of sorts on my channel, perhaps, because it's going to be just so much fun, uh, I think. Um, and I think you guys will enjoy it. So hopefully that becomes a thing and we do that and uh, oh, there's so many things coming at me right now. <laughs> no, no, please leave me alone. I want to just, no, stop climbing up there. I want to pick, oh, don't do that. Don't slow me down. I'm not fast anyway. Okay, I'm getting into the sky. The sky is a lot safer, right? 
As long as uh, Mo, Mo Yang don't add any weird flying mobs, we should be good. But uh, how much ice have I got? Hmm, not a whole bunch. But uh, we can always go over there and I hope there's nothing bad over here. That or I'll lose all my stuff over here and won't be able to find it again. Let's hope uh, the previous answer is right. Okay, hello friend, you coming over? Good. Don't come over. Don't bother. I hope this hit him off. I'm scared. Oh, I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six stacks. That'll do. Where's the portal? Oh, of course the portal's near all the bad guys. Any creeper though? Any creeper? No, okay, we're fine then. Let's go. Let's go. Quickly, go! 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 Ah, run away. That's it. I'm out. Goodbye. Thanks. Thanks. Goodbye. Oh man, that was scary. That was a little bit scary. Well, I'm not coming back there in a hurry. Whew. So the next task today is to do this trash disposal system. You guys absolutely blew me out of the water with this. So many designs came in on Twitter and everything. I've got like at least 10 designs, maybe more. Um, you guys are still working on them. And oh my goodness, they are amazing. And I've picked one. I've picked one by David Gallagher. Thank you, man. I'm going to try and attempt to build yours, which is why I wanted the ice, because you used ice. I don't know if it's actually necessary, but either way, I could do with some anyway, so it gave me a good excuse to go there. And we're going to be building the trash disposal system. So for those that don't remember what it was I wanted here, I wanted to be able to put some blocks in there. It's chuck it out in like a, a funny, like artistic way. Something that wasn't just a, it goes into lava. No, I don't want it to just be like, oh, put it in there, oh, lava. I want it to be like, you know, I want to be able to put something in there and then it just do something jazzy. I don't know. I don't know. It sounded fun. But anyway, I need to dig this up and dig a hole in the ground and then start working on this and answer a couple more questions I've got, which are way more simple ones, but they're good ones nonetheless and ones that I get asked a whole bunch. So yeah, let's get on with that. Okay, so I'm currently going off an image now. I am going to be building or attempting to build at least and attempting to do it correctly in particular. This, uh, this this redstone thing, it's going to be a little bit difficult is what I'm going to say. So that is one, two, three, four. Okay, so we need a dropper there facing upwards. We need a hopper that I don't have facing into that one. We need to chuck a whole bunch of this nonsense away because I've dug it all up and I've just left it in my inventory. There you go, it's gone. So we've got that going there. We need a sort of comparator going into this Yes, I realise this is a pumpkin. Not sure if it actually needs to be a pumpkin or not, but that doesn't matter. Uh, let's fill that all in. I think it needs to go up one. Uh, that's what it looks like on the image. If I've done one of these things wrong, I can go fix it. It's not really an issue. That's on two ticks. Um, and then the redstone should go like so. And I think this should be in subtract mode. Sweet. That looks good to me. Next layer up, we need to do the ice thing. This is what we need the ice for, so let me grab... Oh, one of those. At least that's what it is. It doesn't necessarily matter. It might be just there because it's nice and um, easy for me to see. Put that into there. Let's go with another block on that. That all needs some redstone dust on it. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is just carry on with this off camera because it's going to get more confusing as I go on. So I'm going to do that and we'll answer some questions when I'm adding the glass on top and that it works. Hopefully we'll come back pretty soon when it works because I don't know. Is it going to be confusing? Probably. Uh, I teleported myself into a wall. This is my redstone. Oh no. Wait, no. No, I can't. I couldn't get out. I couldn't get out. Oh, I've broken things. Oh no. I've broken everything. Oh my goodness, I nearly died. This goes somewhere like... Oh, it points upwards. Oh, but okay. I think I ended up into the, the piston. By accident. That didn't go well. I'll be honest. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Well, I think I'm done. The only thing I need to do is add some source blocks, which I'm hoping now aren't going to just, like, destroy everything. That looks good, except for I don't have a... I think this needs to be a cauldron? No, the cauldron needs to go one up. So if I do that... Oh, but I got rid of the redstone. That's the only thing. <laughs> I knew that was something. I was looking at it going, that's not quite right. Uh, I think this needs to be a cauldron, because it can go through a cauldron. That works. Um, glass though, where did I put the glass? It's in here, so I should be able to now. Yeah, so I'd have to have this be a solid block, which works for me. Can I go down there and then quickly pop back out again? That would, that, no. Oh, you, oh, why, oh. <laughs> oh, no, no, 
all the bad things are happening. I, ah, oh, but am I gonna? Okay, I go out this way. That, that's a better. It's a better option, folks. Don't be silly. Don't. I forgot about cactus. Yeah. Um, that works. Let's make this a solid block. Any block will do for now. Make it that. Let's make a pressure plate. That one will do. I don't have a trap door, but we can make one later. It doesn't really matter right now. But what I can do is just fill this all in with glass, hopefully. And then if I go like that. I can't see anything. <laughs> okay, let's let's go up. Let's go a bit higher. And then let's use something that I'm going to be able to see. Okay, redstone. If I put two of them. I don't know what's happening. Should probably check that actually things are going on. I'm not I'm not so sure. Yep, nothing's coming out. Okay, something I did wrong. That's fine. We can clear away the water and just fix whatever it is I did wrong. Oopsie. I knew there was something, but at least we know at this stage, not um not once I've left it and I've filled it up with trash. <laughs> Looking at it, it's actually got rid of all the things. Maybe I just couldn't see them. I don't know how that would work. But they don't exist anywhere. They're not in all any of the hoppers. Uh they're not in the dropper. They just seem to have disappeared. I haven't picked them up, I don't think. So I'm confused, I guess. As long as it works. I don't necessarily care. I did want to be able to see it though. I guess what we can do is leave Yeah, let's get let's get rid of the water. Uh, the, the water? No, let's get rid of the glass. Let's get rid of the glass. Place the water back down. And then see. So if I do that, I hope I place everything back. Okay. Do that. Okay. Now's the moment of truth. I've just had deja vu for some reason. I don't know why. I've never done this before in my life. It should chuck them into the water. It sounds like they are, but... Ah, huh. weird. I think I've done something wrong. Well, I can't seem to fix it. I'm not actually really sure what's going on. I'm pretty sure I've double and triple checked it right now. There must be something I'm missing. But what I'm going to do is, because it is actually getting rid of the trash, not in the cool way it's supposed to. I mean, it's supposed to chuck out some trash that side and that side, and they're meant to flow through the water down to the cactus, which is so cool, which is why I picked the design. Yet, it doesn't actually seem to be doing exactly that. So let's make it look a little bit prettier, but I need to add the trapdoor, I think. Um, I need to add this guy as well. Can I add this guy here? Yeah, that, that, that works. No, maybe I'll put it the other side. That might be a better option. I need to put it somewhere. But yeah, um, that's what the pressure plate's there for, to pick up that. But I don't know. There must be something I'm doing wrong. But I'm just not sure what. Also, I need another crafting bench, because otherwise that's going to bug me. But, uh... Yeah, I don't really need it right now, but I'm sure the person will watch, hopefully. Thanks for the design, I seem to have broken it, or something. Or maybe it just doesn't work in this op in this uh, version. We can always make a new design if we need to, but that, I don't know, it was, it was cool. It was cool on Twitter, but it doesn't seem to be as cool IRL, because I can't seem to make it. I'm sorry, I'm bad at redstone, okay? I'm sorry. Well, I've got one more possible solution for this. It is actually working, uh, but the items are going into a kind of despawn sort of situation. So what I do is, if I chuck them in there, it takes them, and what happens if I stand here is I pick them up. That's where they're meant to pop, pop out of and go into the water. So I was thinking maybe the source blocks are being the problem, so I'm thinking pushing them once into the wall there. That might work better. Let's give that a shot. Let's uh, take half a stack of stone. Pop that in there. It goes in. And um, yeah, they're 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 coming they're coming out, but they're just not going into the water. That's literally the only problem with it. Bit of a shame, but it it looks pretty cool right now. It looks pretty cool. We won't bother about making it look a hundred percent pretty when you know it doesn't actually work quite quite right. Uh, I mean it does work, but just. I don't know why they just not... Maybe there's something wrong there, but at least we know that is the issue. But, I don't know, it's looking pretty snazzy either way, and it is actually a sort of trash, I suppose. I can go here, chug my stuff in there, like I don't want these six stone bricks. Goodbye. They go into the bottom of it, and then they go out. <laughs> it's really funny. But uh, that is all I have time for today, guys. Uh, sadly, I don't have enough time for all the questions I wanted to answer, so let me know if you want a part two. There'll be a poll top right. 
Um, I'm really, really liking doing these polls, so I hope you guys are too. But yeah, leave me comment ideas down below, likes if you did enjoy the video, and the Q&A. More questions down below if you have any more questions for more Q&As in the future. I will always save some to a folder, and when I get to them, I will get to them. And subscribe if you haven't already, but that is it guys, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.